हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द कंसेप्ट ऑफ रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स इन सी प्रोग्रामिंग द रिलेशनल ऑपरेटर्स आर बाइनरी ऑपरेटर्स दैट आर यूज टू कंपेयर वैल्यूज ऑफ टू ऑपरेंट्स दीज टाइप्स ऑफ ऑपरेटर्स चेक द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन टू ऑफ द अवेलेबल ऑपरेंट्स इन केस द रिलेशन हैपन टू बी ट्रू देन इट रिटर्न टू वन बट इन केस the relation turns out to be false then it return to the value zero we use the relational operator in loops and in case of decision making there are six relational operator available in c language equal to not equal to less than greater than less than equal to and greater than equal to these are the relational operators in c programming the equal to operator is to check if two of the available operands are equal to each other or not the function of equal to operator is to check if two of the available operands are equal to each other or not if operands are equal then it return 1 otherwise it return 0 Let's see the example. Inside the main function, we have declared two variable a and b. Value of a is ten and value of b is twenty. And after that, check the equality. Percentage d is equal to percentage d. Is percentage d. first percentage d return the value of a second percentage d return the value of b and third percentage d return the result a is equal to equal to b if this condition is true if a is equal to equal to b if this condition is true then the output is 1 otherwise output is 0 now run this code after the execution of this code the output is zero condition is evaluated to be false but if the value of a is 20 and value of b is 20 now in this case 20 is equal to equal to 20 condition is evaluated to be true then it will return 1 next is not equal to operator The function of not equal to operator is to check if two of the available operands are equal to each other or not. If it is not equal, then it return to be true. Otherwise, it return false. The symbol for not equal to operator is not equal to. Now in this case, a is not equal to b. A is ten. Ten is not equal to b. Condition is evaluated to be true. Ten is not equal to twenty. Then the output is one. But if the value of a is twenty and value of b is twenty, now in this case, twenty is not equal to twenty. Condition is evaluated to be false. Then it will return zero. next is less than operator the function of less than operator is to check if the first available operand is lesser than the second one if condition is true then return 1 if condition is evaluated to be false then return 0 now in this case value of a is 10 and value of b is 20 now a is less than b a is 10 and b is 20 10 is less than 20 condition is evaluated to be true then the output is 1 but if the value of a is 30 and b is 20 now in this case 30 is less than 20 condition is evaluated to be false then it return 0 next is greater than greater than operator The function of the greater than function is to check if the first available operand is greater than the second one. 
If condition is true, then it return one. Otherwise, it return zero. Now in this case, value of a is thirty and value of b is twenty. Thirty is greater than twenty. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then the output is one. Then greater than or equal to operator. The function of the greater than or equal to operator is to check if the first available operand is equal to or greater than the second one. If condition is true, then return one. Otherwise, return zero. The value of a is twenty and value of b is twenty. Now twenty is greater than equal to twenty. Condition is evaluated to be true. Then the result is one. Next is less than equal to. The function of the less than or equal to operator is to check if the first available operand is equal to or less than the second one. If condition is true, then a result is one. Otherwise, a result is zero. Now, in this case, twenty is less than equal to twenty. Condition is evaluated to be true. Answer is one. If the value of a is thirty, now thirty is less than equal to twenty. Condition is evaluated to be false. Then answer is zero. Let's see one more example of a relational operators. Inside the main function, we have declared three variables a, b, and c. And value of a is eight greater than five and greater than two. And value b is eight greater than five and greater than zero. And value of c is eight greater than five and greater than one. And after that, we have to print the value of a, b, and c. Slash n is for new line. Now run this code. The after the execution of this code, the output is zero, one, and zero. The value of a is zero, value of b is one, and value of c is zero. The associativity of a relational operator is from left to right. The statement a is equal to eight is greater than five. Condition is true. Then the answer is one. Then one is greater than two. Condition is evaluated to be false. Then the result is zero. The value of a is zero. In the second case, eight is greater than five. Condition is true. Then the answer is one. One is greater than zero. Condition is true. Then answer is one. The value of b is one. In the third case, eight is greater than five. Condition is true. Eight is greater than five. Condition is true. Answer is one. Then one is greater than one. Condition is evaluated to be false. Then answer is zero. The value of c is zero. Then after the execution of this code, the output is zero, one, and zero. If the value of a is nine and value of b is ten, and value of c is equal to a, and a is double equal to b, then after that, with the help of printf function, display the value of c. Run this code. After the execution of this code, the output is zero. Now in this case, C is equal to A is equal to equal to B. The value of A is nine. Nine is equal to equal to ten. Condition is evaluated to be false. Then answer is zero. The value zero is assigned to a variable C. Then with the help of printf, display the value of C. This is all about the relational operators in C language. Oh, 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 oh,